So one other thing you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about is these butt ugly door panels. The worst part is this ugly carpet down here. It's just, it's just gross. It's starting to come apart. It's doing the same thing on both doors. So what I think I might do to make these a little more livable while I have them is tear that carpet out. Hopefully that doesn't make anything actually uglier. And then I'm gonna take on both sides this off, tape around, and then this part, which I really wanted to pull out of the car, just like I did with the shifter insert that had that faux wood. I couldn't get it to come out evenly. I don't have a heat gun, which I think would release that glue and help me, but uh, there's no reason I can't paint it in the car. So I'm gonna pull the handle off, tape around, and hand paint these to do a nice little custom touch. So I do wanna to stick to the black and white theme, which means that shifter insert, which has the gold and white, is gonna to have to get redone as well. I don't, I don't really like the gold as much as I thought I would initially. So I'll eventually pull that back out of the car and refinish it, but at least I know that whole process now. I'm gonna pull the carpet off of these doors, custom paint right here, and then eventually this shifter console. At a minimum, I wanna get new screws for these six spots and I mean, I'm missing one and these ones that are in here are just ugly. Overall, this thing just looks so cheap. It's a plastic box that doesn't fit anything tightly. I really do want to replace that eventually. I mean, this, it just doesn't look very good. So let's start by pulling the carpet off of these doors. Here's some bad news. It's not just carpet. It's got this vinyl sheet that wraps around the bottom of the door. Peeling that off, that's not gonna be good. It's gonna peel this whole bottom part off. You know what? So ugly though, I'm gonna pull it off anyway, and let's just take the whole panel off. Huh? There we go. There's these super fine threads on these screws, I mean, it takes forever to take out. Okay, there we go. Should be able to pull that out now. So I got my door pull off, and that gives me access to paint this. So here's what was holding that on is this little screw or this little spring. I'm not sure what this spacer is supposed to, I guess it goes right in there, maybe in between them. But this little spring is what was holding the lock and unlock button to the door. So one way or another, these three pieces fit back together. I'll have to figure that out. Now that I've got that off, I can get behind here and a screw in the back of here. I can access when I've got this pulled wide open. This screwdriver's too big. And I'm gonna pull this entire panel off off tonight. I should be able to pull this out of the door now. There it goes, come on. There we go, got my door handle off. Maybe I'll touch that up on my own. And then I'm gonna pull these screws, pull this entire panel off the door. Something like that will lift right off. Aha! <laughs> the whole damn panel off. Oh, that's pretty gross in there. Yes. So it looks like for this deluxe package back in the day with the carpet, it took the regular package and just glued carpet over top of it. That's hilarious. So exciting. With that out, these might even be salvageable. If I can get them to fit correctly, they were kind of hanging off at a weird angle before. All right, time to grab some goo gone and see if we can't clear that up. All right, so here's our driver's side door panel. There's a couple things I want to do to this. Now, I would like to fix this crack, but I really don't have any idea how I'm gonna do that at the moment. So I'm gonna leave that be. I would like to clean this up a little better down here. There's just a little bit of gunk I didn't get with the Goo Gone in the dark last night. So I'll work on that. This is quite scratched up, this lock unlock place down here. Now these letters are raised. And so what I might do is actually tape off the area, paint this whole thing black, and then very carefully sand just the top in the hopes that I can get the letters to be silver again. And then I may try and clean up. This is just kind of gummy right here, this silver part. And the thing I'm most excited for is this faux wood insert. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and tape off the silver around it and paint that by hand.
All right, as I'm trying to refine this door panel as a whole, let me show you a couple close-ups. So there's some bubbling on this little silver piece of trim here that I'm gonna see if I can improve with a little bit of sanding. Um, there was some gunk right here that came off pretty nicely with the goo gone. And then in here, that, that looks better than it used to after goo gone, but I still may hit it with some fine grit sandpaper. Actually, what I may do is make that white, just the inside of that white with a black knob. So for next steps, I'm gonna sand this down, sand right here, repaint this area, and then get to the custom painting on that area. All right, I've got some 1500 grit sandpaper that I wrapped around this wad of these paper towels so that it would be a little bit soft, but something for me to hold on to. And the idea is that it won't create a hot spot because I can press and it'll distribute my sanding pressure just a little bit more evenly. This is making me think I probably should have sprayed this. <laughs> this part should be covered. I just don't want all that excess paint because I don't feel like waiting for it to dry. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. This has had a little bit of time to dry, and I've got to say, I'm not super happy with how it turned out with the brushwork. I mean, it is definitely hand done, but some of the detail is just not as fine as I would like it to be. So I'm going to remove the tape and see how it looks overall. As you can see from a distance, it actually really, it doesn't look all that bad. It is a nice touch, but what I may decide is just to give it another go with the tape. It really wasn't wanting to stick, which is why I didn't tape it in the first place. It was being very difficult, but I may end up having to try again. That way I could spray once I have the, the tape properly in place. Yeah, it really didn't even give me that great of a line either. Overall, kind of frustrated with this particular step. It hasn't gone very well. So there's what we're looking like with no tape on it. I just don't like the coverage in here. It's not as smooth or consistent as I would like it to be. So what I think I'm gonna do is wipe down the door and I've got some plastic bags from the grocery store to cover the big areas so I could get the tape right up to the edge without covering any of the tape. And that should give me a cleaner line, but that tape really was just struggling to stick to this door panel. So let's, let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right, so as frustrating a process as masking was, I think I've got it to a point where it's ready for paint and primer. So I'm gonna start with regular old primer and give it a minute to dry. I've got the door panel all covered except for the places where I'm okay with accepting paint. Unfortunately, because that tape just won't stick to that vinyl, it's so slippery, that vinyl, I couldn't tape it in a way that would allow me to preserve those little silver edges on the lower run. On the top, I was able to, right outside of that wood paneling, I was able to preserve the silver, but the silver on the bottom part is gonna get painted over. It's already kind of marred up anyway, and it's already been painted when I tried to do it with the brush this morning. It was it was getting painted a little bit anyway. And I've got the door all masked off, which is exciting. I love 
having that part done. So I'm really excited to go ahead and spray. I'm not worried about where it goes because the door is, is masked nicely. So let's get after it. All right, I think that's plenty of primer, so I'm gonna go ahead and move the door into the sun so it dries a little quicker. And once that primer has had a minute to set up, we'll hit it with some paint, and then I'll go in and have a little bit of fun with, with some kind of drawing. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do yet. Okay, so here's our panel out in the sun. It's had some time to dry that primer. What I'm gonna do is hit it with black to get a layer of black underneath, let that dry just a little bit, then layer white on, and really quickly while the white is still wet, cut into it with a palette knife to do my custom drawing. So hopefully that black sets up nice and quick in that sun. And then as soon as that's starting to dry a little bit, I'm gonna cover it with white and then get after it really quickly with that palette knife to put a little custom touch on this door. All right, so here is our finished painting on the panel. You can see it's black and white. This is pretty close to what I had in mind. I'm pretty happy with it overall. So I'm excited to see how it looks when it's dried. So what I'm gonna do is put it in the sun to dry quicker and then peel this all this masking off. This is the handle that allows you to open the door from inside the car, so you pull on it like this. So it's silver with this sort of knurled section and then the Corvette logo, which is in pretty bad shape. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this thing, if I want to touch it up at all. What I think I'm going to do first is just clean up some of the gunk. I don't know, maybe you can see it there. Some of the gunk around this side. And if it looks nice after that, I'm going to leave it alone. But otherwise, we may go ahead and paint it black or white. So after a quick polish with some Goo Gone, not really a polish, but after a quick pass with some Goo Gone, you can see this is looking much better, and I think I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't think I'm gonna paint this piece. I do kind of like the shiny bit. Here's one other piece I can deal with while I'm waiting on the door panel to dry. This is the little knob you turn to lock and unlock the car from inside. I think it was black at one point. I'm thinking since I have white on that little rectangular area that says lock unlock surrounding this, I'm gonna go ahead and return this to black. So I'm gonna paint it black and let it dry in the sun. So I wasn't actually ready to pull the masking off. I wanted to give this more time to dry, but I looked out my window and saw the wind was blowing some of those plastic bags where they're at risk of getting blown into the paint. So I'm gonna go and remove the masking now and let it continue to dry without the masking on it.
So here's the door panel, a couple things. I'm not sure how this happened, but it looks like I had a gap in my masking, which allowed some white paint to get there. And then I'm not super happy about this faded line here. Anyway, here's the door. We'll see how it looks in the car. I have mixed feelings. I think we may be remasking and going to just flat white or just ordering a new door panel, honestly, but we'll see. kind of think what I may do is paint this part black since that gets some wear and tear and touch and this part white uh, so we have a white trim around a mostly black center console. With those two pieces drying and setting up nicely, I'm excited to see how they look together with the new color scheme. I'm gonna pull the door panel off the passenger side door and start the process of masking that so it can take paint as well. My first stage to cleaning up this door panel, which is in a little bit better shape, unsurprisingly since it's the passenger door, is going to be to remove this nasty carpet. Just like with the last one, we'll start by just pulling it away, and it's stapled in the back, so I can just pull those right out. And nice enough, this just has more of that same exact vinyl beneath and they match nicely so I think it overall looks better with this carpet gone. Looks like that ripped up my glove pretty well. Must have caught a staple or something. It didn't catch my skin though so that's good. Okay. I'll start with a little bit of simple green cleaner degreaser just to get some of this gunk off the door. This one really doesn't look like it's in bad shape, so I'm gonna go fairly light here. A little bit of that and wipe it down with just some paper towel. So masking that door is gonna be the most frustrating and probably the least fun to watch part of this process. So I'm gonna shut the camera off and battle with that with the plastic bags and the painter's tape. And once I have it masked, we'll check back in. I'll show you the mask door and then the painting process. But that's that part just is flat out isn't fun. The tape doesn't wanna to stick to that vinyl. And so not looking forward to it, but whatever. It'll probably take me 20 minutes and I'm gonna get after it. Sometime later, and I've got the door masked with garbage bags and tape, or Kroger bags and tape. It was just as frustrating as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't love that job. If the tape would just stick to the vinyl, it would be such an easy task, but it really doesn't. And so, I don't know if it's because of the dressing on the vinyl or if it's because of the tape I'm using, which is just standard painter's tape, but quite a frustrating process. But I've got it done in a way that I think will do okay. And so it's time to hit it with some primer, give it a couple minutes, and then we'll get after the paint. Here's our masked door panel. This one is done a little bit more nicely than the previous one, but just like the last one, it was a frustrating process. But this teak insert, that's one thing that does come out really nicely. It's just down here where things get difficult because there's nothing to grab onto besides 
that vinyl, which the paint or the tape really doesn't want to stick to. That being said, let's go ahead and prime it. I'm gonna start over here. This time I'll have the added benefit of not having tried to hand paint it with latex paint. I'm just going light at first, trying to cover evenly. It took years for me to be sold on primer as a step and I'm a pretty thorough believer in it. It really does give you a nicer surface to start with. Just something for the paint to grab onto. Here is from the passenger door, freshly pulled, lock, unlock knob. Here's the one I painted the other day, and you can see it's already wearing away because I gave it one, stupidly, one coat of black paint. So I'm gonna paint them both a couple of coats and some fairly thick clear coat to try and protect them. And see how that holds up over time. The good news is these are super easy to pull off the doors now that I know how to do it. And so if I decide to change something later on or the paint's not holding up, I can pretty easily swap them out. There is our refinished, refinished shifter insert. I think it's looking pretty good. I can't wait to see it in the car. My plan for now is the door panels have plenty of time to dry, so I wanna hit that with a good thick layer of clear coat and then leave that to dry. And while that's drying, we will reinstall this in the car. So it looks like I hit the wrong button when I reinstalled this, so I wasn't recording, unfortunately, but here is our freshly reinstalled. This is just the board it was sitting on that's sitting in my passenger seat. Here's our freshly reinstalled shifter insert. I think it matches the car better without that gold border and just the black being the primary, the silver being sort of the accent, I think fits the theme of the car a little bit better. Um, I'm not like totally crazy about how it looks, but certainly beats the faux wood we started with. I just put some clear coat on those knobs where the lock and unlock happens, I think the doors had plenty of time for that nice thick layer of clear coat to dry as well so my plan now is to this is kind of the fun part pull the masking off of the door and then reinstall the door uh or the door panel into the door into the car
there's our passenger side door panel. These are still quite wet, so I'm going to wait to reattach them. While I'm waiting for those to dry, I just wanted to show this actually looks kind of cool from behind with the doors both open, where you can see those custom black and white accents. And if we go over the top of the car, you see that shifter insert. Not too jarring, it kind of feels like it fits. So there's our passenger side minus the knob. Reassembled. Our shifter insert reinserted. And our driver's side minus the knob. Pretty cool.